Good morning friends! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Lynn and this is my little rural homestead. Today I am going to make some creamy tomato soup and we're going to get started. I've canned up some tomatoes back in March of 2022 so it's been almost a year since I've canned this. We are going to use 24 ounces so I have three jars of canned tomatoes and we are going to open these and put them in the pot. I need to wipe the tops off. They're a little bit dusty. So we are home today. There was a major ice storm for the last couple of days. Well, yesterday and today. This is very tricky. Okay, there's one. Two and three for 24 ounces. Okay, we're just gonna pour these in to the pot. And then I need to go get my spoon. I want to use the soft spoon. So I'm going to go get that and we'll be right back. Okay, the next thing we're going to add in here is one and a half cups of water. Okay. Then we are going to add in you can add garlic powder or garlic salt. I'm adding in garlic salt and we're adding in one teaspoon. And then we are going to add in one teaspoon of basil. I can't take the lid off and put this in there, otherwise I would. Okay, we need one tablespoon of Lakanto monk fruit sweetener. I buy this at Big Lots because it's $3.99. You can buy it at any store. They have it at Walmart, they have it at Family Fair. They have it at most grocery stores, but it's just cheaper at big lots. So we need one tablespoon of Picanto monk fruit sweetener. We need a dash of pepper. I'm using uh, white black pepper. We need some sea salt. I'm using pink Himalayan sea salt. And we are going to give this a good stir. Okay, now we need two tablespoons of butter. I just kind of eyeball that, but I'm usually pretty good at eyeballing the butter. And, and then we need one teaspoon of onion powder. Whoops, I don't want to get it all over the floor. Oops. And then we are going to give this a good now that we have those ingredients combined, we are going to put this tomato mixture into a blender and we're <clears throat> a blender and we're going to smooth it out a little bit. Oops, don't spill it on the floor. Oh, Piper could probably clean it up for us if I do. Okay, we're just gonna blend this up a little bit at a time with the Ninja. Okay, so we have this 
tomato soup all blended and it's nice and cream and smoothie, but we have two more ingredients to add. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my cheese and then I will show you what else we are going to do. All right, now we are going to add one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And this is with the mother. You can probably see it on the bottom. My favorite brand of apple cider vinegar to use is Bragg's. And now we are going to add in eight ounces of Organic Valley cream cheese. You can use any kind of cream cheese you want. I'm using this because it has the cleanest ingredients. It's organic pasteurized milk and cream cheese, salt, and um, locust bean gum. So cleanest ingredients of all the cream cheeses that I've been able to find. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to. Uh, I hit the tripod <laughs> and it's shaking. So now we're just going to add in the cream cheese. I cut it up into cubes so that it would melt faster. I'm going to let this melt and then I will show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay friends, our tomato soup is done and I'm telling you what, it is really good. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh my gosh, it tastes good even without crackers. Mm. It's tangy and it's got like a sweet taste but it's tangy too. I really like it. But um, full disclaimer, so when you put the cream cheese in, put the cream cheese in um, before you blend it the first time because I ended up blending it twice. So before you blend the tomato soup, put the cream cheese in and then, and then put it in the blender because I had problems with the cream cheese melting. So I think if you blend it prior, <laughs> if you blend it prior to adding cooking it on the stove and heating it up, it will work out a lot better for you. But it's actually really delicious. It doesn't matter that I blended it after or be fair, or be, be fair, <laughs> be fair. I, am I even awake this morning? It is the next day, by the way. I, because I had to blend it, I put it in the refrigerator overnight and I re-blended it this morning and it is so cream and so smoothy. It is so good. But on that note, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.